Hello, dear friends. Good day. I hope you had a beautiful Shabbos of Nachamu, Shabbos of comfort, the first of seven weeks of God comforting the Jewish people, and looking forward to the great miracles and blessings that will come with Mashiach. And I want to dwell today for our inspiration moment, connected to what we find in the desert as Moshe is talking to the Jewish people. So initially, he talks to them in a language of seeing. That he tells Hashem, you have begun to show your servant all of your great presence and miracles. And in this week's Torah portion, it say he talks to the Jews, it will be when you will hear. What is the difference when we tell to someone, see, or we tell them to listen, to hear? Is there any difference in reality? I mean, one is just through one of our senses, the sight, and one is through the sense of hearing. Is there any inherent difference between both? And you don't have to look very far, but just to see what is going on in the current culture today, the culture of the instantaneous social media showing of pictures and videos, the entire event of George Floyd and some of the subsequent events that happened, where there's no question in people's mind that we saw the video, we saw exactly what happened. We saw how the police officer was dealing with him. And we saw what was going on around. And we saw how he pleaded. And therefore, because we saw, there is no room in our minds to question or doubt what was going on. And what was happening is very real and obviously bad. But imagine if you didn't see the video. But you heard a report that a reporter said that this and this happened somewhere. Would the impact be as great on you? Would you still have that same passionate feeling about the event and therefore your reaction to it? The answer is obvious, no. Because when you see, when you see something, the impact is much stronger on you. Because it's unquestionable. Something you have seen becomes one with you. It becomes engraved in you. It's impossible to think otherwise you saw it so clearly. But something you hear is very different. Something you hear from someone. You hear an argument. You hear a statement. You hear uh, an event. You hear a, a, a situation about a situation whatever it is that you hear, your conviction is not so strong. Your passion, your response is not so strong. It may be quite convincing, but I'll tell you something. If someone else comes and argues differently, with a different argument or a different version of events, you're not so rooted in what you heard to say that you're not going to change your mind. It's easy to change your mind. But something that you saw no one can ever change your mind. It's clear, it's, 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 it's deep inside of you. It's unmovable, unchangeable. And this is what Moshe was asking from God, actually. That he wants that the conviction of the Jew to our religion, the conviction of the Jew to the presence of God in our lives should be such as if we had seen it ourselves. The people who lived in the desert saw God's presence through the Ten Commandments and all the other miracles that happened daily for the Jewish people. They saw God's presence. Those who came to visit the temple in Jerusalem and before then in Shiloh saw God's presence. It was real. Moshe wanted that every Jew, their belief should not just be a belief because we have nothing else to lean on but it should be as clear as if you see God, though we mm -hmm. don't really see Him. Mm -hmm. And that is the mm -hmm. power, that is the power of sight. 
why even in Jewish law, when you see something, you can never become a judge in that incident. You can never turn from a lawyer to a judge or a witness to a judge because once you see something, you can never imagine otherwise. But when you heard something, you can be, a greater argument could be made that can sway you to the other side. So we have to try to make our convictions, especially when it comes to our Judaism, to our relationship with God, has to be so much engraved in us as if we had actually seen it, as if we'd witnessed it ourselves. And that's why in the Torah it always emphasizes Hayoim. God has given you the Torah today. Today I am talking mm-hmm. to you. But we know that mm-hmm. God is not talking to us today. God has uh, told us many years ago, but God says every day you should imagine it's what happened today. It should be so, so in front of your eyes as if the event happened right now. And our soul sees. Our soul is a piece of God. It sees godliness. Let's tap into our soul so we can see the truth of Torah, the truth of its ways, the truth of God. And when we see, it's a very, very different reaction that we have and it brings us to do things that we may not be brought to do if we only just hear but watch out for tomorrow because i'll tell you there's a quality in listening and paying attention overseeing so meanwhile i want to wish you a great day and all the best my friends